Kuzma here with Director Reviews and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be doing something special for the Civic 10 generation I have behind me. So we're going to be installing fender extensions or fender flares. So I already got a one side done. However, I kept the other side so I can show you guys the install process. So the fender extensions come in eight pieces, four on each side. Let me show you how it looks like, just like that looks pretty sweet but of course I do have to find matching rims because uh, it's much wider than uh, before currently I'm running 8J rims so you can see from here it doesn't really quite line up with this new fender uh, so I have to get some spacers uh, looking at 30mm in the front and 35mm in the front hopefully those will line up but I do have to do some calculations to get them the, to the spec that I want but however, uh, it is what it is. Right now, I'm rocking uh, AJ rims, so they're still pretty in because they're actually meant to line up with the original fender. All right, guys, so let me show you what comes in the box. So, right here, we have a couple of uh, 3M double sided tape, and then we also got some uh, alcohol prep pads, or should I say, adhesion promoter. So, I've uh, actually went ahead and actually sanded down the fender to make sure that there are no like uh, imperfections. So I actually sanded down the inside and I did uh, most of the pieces but however I left uh, two, two more pieces out so I can show you guys how it looks on the inside. So this comes like this without tape. See right here this is without tape, this is the rear fender. And let me show you the front. So this is the front fender right here. So you can see right here. It just comes like this and there were some stubs over here that weren't perfect so I actually had to cut and sand. So I actually did that all the night before this video so to make things much easier when I'm actually shooting. And uh, another piece, this is the piece that I've actually sanded and uh, done the install for the 3M tape. So you can see right here. So I actually did this. This is for the door portion, the rear door portion. And then we get two more parts. So. The slim one is where the side marker is, so this for the front and this is for the rear bumper, so you can see it's slightly thicker. So overall, uh, the install was pretty okay, I mean the one that I did, but uh, however, and I'm going to show you the install process for the passenger side of the car, so you can see the difference. So this is without the fender extension. And this is with the fender extension. So honestly, I think that uh, the fender extension does make the car look more, how to say, uh, wider of course. It looks more fierce as well. So I hope it goes well, when, especially when it comes to the spacers. Because I'm still figuring out how to find the right spacer for the Civic. I'm uh, looking at 18 inch 9J rims, but uh, I think they might be too heavy for the car. Uh, I'm not too sure, but I'm still doing some research. However, I walk it without the spacers first. I know it looks kind of ugly. But uh, it's better to get things right the first time, right? Alright, so I'll finish up the other pieces with the 3M tape and then we'll go through the install process uh, together. Alright guys, so we're finally done and it was a really really hot day. Um, so the alignment wasn't that nice on the passenger side though. Uh, I'll give you a closer look later. So this is the front part. 
I'm gonna give you a close look at the back. You can see right here. From the side, this doesn't look as nice as the one on the driver's side though, but the alignment is perfect. First, I double checked it. You can see right here. So three pieces, one, two, and three. And the front has two pieces. This main panel and this small extension right here. Let's take a look at the other side. You can see right here. Overall very nice uh, for 650 ringgit, 670 ringgit, I think around that. Uh, gives the car a very nice look. But of course, definitely you need to upgrade the rims for this car. Alright, so this has been a very quick installation video of the fender flares. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. But uh, for me, I think it looks pretty good. For a small amount of money, you actually get some uh, nicer looks. And probably I'm going lower with this car as well. Alright, so if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this and I'll see you guys in the next video.